a laparoscopic camera is inserted through the sub-umbilical trocha. With this camera, the peritoneal space is inspected, with special attention being paid to adhesions and inflammation of the gallbladder. Under the camera's guidance, a second trocar is inserted, a few centimetres caudal from the sophoid process. You can clearly see the retraction of the sharp tip of the trocar. And a third trochar is inserted in the right lower quadrant. A better view of the gallbladder can be achieved by tilting the table in reverse Trendelenburg and slightly to the left. The fundus of the gallbladder is grasped to retract the gallbladder superiorly. If this is not possible due to hydropic gallbladder, it can be decompressed by puncturing it. In this overview, you can see the gallbladder the fundus of the gallbladder, the infundibulum, and the liver in the background. A fourth trocar is inserted to facilitate grasping the gallbladder at Hartmann's pouch. Hartmann's pouch is grasped and retracted superiorly so the peritoneal envelope can be incised. In this envelope, the cystic duct and the artery can be found. Identify these as tube-like structures running into the gallbladder. Also, the lower one-third of the gallbladder is dissected off the liver bed. Here, a tube-like structure is identified, which may be a biliary duct or artery. These structures are isolated close to the infundibulum to prevent damage to the common bile duct. This overview shows two tube-like structures. A great variety of biliary vascular anomalies may occur, making the bile ducts vulnerable to iatrogenic injury during cholecystectomy. This is why it is necessary to identify the critical view of safety. Critical view of safety is stated as the isolated cystic artery and cystic duct entering the gallbladder with liver tissue in the background and no other structures in between. The triangle of calotte is cleared and a minimum of one third of the gallbladder is dissected off the liver bed. This overview shows a thin cystic duct, the cystic artery and the liver bed in the background with no other structures in between. The critical view of safety needs to be visualized from both sides if this is not possible, a conversion to an open procedure should be considered. After turning to the other side, you can see the gallbladder, the cystic duct, the cystic artery, and the liver bed in the background with no other structures in between. The cystic artery is clipped three times and transected as near to the gallbladder as possible. Begin with the artery, as transection on the gallbladder may tear the artery when the cystic duct is transected primarily. In case of severe infection, the artery is much thicker and a suture may be placed in order to ligate the artery. The cystic duct is ligated and transected by placing two distal and two proximal clips on it, using the gallbladder as point of reference. 
Make sure no other tissue is involved before clipping. This overview shows the clipped cystic duct without the involvement of surrounding tissue. A fourth clip is placed and the cystic duct is transected. The dissection of the gallbladder from the liver is continued to the upper two-thirds of the gallbladder using a laparoscopic hook and electrocautery. The correct plane between the gallbladder and the liver is found and dissected. The right dissection plane is highlighted. The gallbladder is dissected at both sides at the same time. Make sure the gallbladder is retracted superiorly with enough traction so the dissection plane with the white angel hair becomes visible. Here, the right dissection plane with the angel hair is highlighted. When dissecting too much towards the liver, bleeding will occur. When dissecting too much towards the gallbladder, one can perforate the gallbladder with bile leakage as a result. Be aware of the possibility of aberrant bile ducts and more arterial or venous structures when dissecting the gallbladder from the liver bed. Here, a tube-like structure is transected. Here, you can identify the liver bed. Keep careful traction on the gallbladder and dissect the correct plane until the whole gallbladder is dissected off the liver bed. When the gallbladder is connected to the liver through such a small piece, it could be a good moment to irrigate the liver bed. Here, the gallbladder is fully dissected off the liver bed. An endo bag is inserted and the gallbladder is placed inside the bag. Irrigate the abdominal cavity in case of gallbladder perforation that has caused a leakage of bile. The endobag containing the gallbladder is removed from the abdominal cavity through a trocar port. The dissection plane of the liver bed is inspected for bleeding. The instruments and the trocars are removed under camera guidance. And the fascia of the 12 mm wounds and the skin are closed with absorbable sutures. إذا نال الفيديو إعجابك لا تنسى الاشتراك والضغط على زر لايك ومشاهدة الفيديوهات السابقة في القناة.